Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations. Number seven, streaks of heads, 12 in a row. We're almost ready to test our second hypothesis and find out how long it takes to get to 12 heads in a row. Just as before, we are going to visually test our code with a different length or streak of four before removing most of our visual output and running the code to look for a streak of 12. We have a do this, change your simulation to run until you get a streak of four and visually verify that your values calculated are accurate. Comment out the lines of code that write the current coin flip and the current streak count. You can use your slash slash to comment out a single line of code. Change your simulation to run until you get a streak of 12 heads. Run your simulation a few times and record your results. This looks like a pretty easy lesson again. In this one, really all we're doing is we are going to change the nums of heads from a streak of three to four, just to visualize it one more time. And then we're gonna comment out our crutch, which is our visual, which is our right flip and right head streak num heads. Let's take a look at our code here. Right now, our while loop condition is num of heads is less than three. We're just gonna raise that one up to four so we can visually check it out. Let's run our code first before we comment it out. Then we'll comment it out and test it to 12. Run, oh, goes off the screen. Don't see anything really happening yet. Looks like it's taking a lot more to get to four. Very interesting. We got up to three, nothing up to four. Well, let's comment this out and see what happens. So I'm gonna take my two rights, my flip, and my head streak and the number, and let's see how many total flips or simulations it is to get to a total of four. 19, 79, that's a lot. 22, 40 ish, 165, four. Ooh, that was a good one. 51, another four. Didn't get that before, but that's pretty nice. 41, 11. Looks like our numbers are ranging kind of all over the board here. Sometimes we get lucky right off the bat. Other times it looks like it takes us hundreds of times to do. That's just with the condition of four. Let's change this to 12 now. 665 flips, ooh. 8,466 flips. That's a lot of flips to get to a streak of 12. 6,000. 2,000, looks like our first flip was our best one. 13,000, 4,000, another good one, 653. Looks like our simulation is working here. Our numbers are really kind of all over the board. Lowest it looks like we could get is about 600 flips to get 12 heads in a row. On the flip side, it could take us all the way up to 13,000 flips. And how would you like to be that person flipping the coins to verify that experiment? Pretty neat little simulation here. Looking back up at the directions, we changed our streak to four, verified it visually was still working. We commented out two lines of right and change our simulation to run to get a streak of 12 heads. We recorded some of the results and it was pretty fun. I think that's all code.org really wanted from us. Let's hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.